Hi everyone, welcome to School of Scarlet. Today I have another message for you. So to begin, this message is really to empower you into your next step. So many of you are sharing your gifts, you're very inspired right now, you're in line with God, you found that power within you with God. And so you're walking your steps one step at a time. And so today's message is, is here to bring you more clarity, to really kind of clear up a few things that maybe some of you are not aware of or have sneakily just become part of your reality. So what I'm seeing here is recently my husband is getting a cataract surgery. He's getting a surgery in his eye. Now a cataract is basically, he's got cloudiness in his eye. So when we see somebody with a cataract, they got that kind of white eye. But prior to that, we don't see that happening within the eye, but it's there. We're getting that cloudiness there. So the eye can look clear. It can look like the person is seeing clearly. Like when I look at my husband's eye, he does not have the whiteness in his eye, that milky color, but he can't see. He's got 20% vision in that eye. So he has the cataract there. It's there, but we can't see it. And this is what this is about, that there are things in our lives that are there and maybe we can't see them. We don't have the perception for them. So this is to give you a little bit more perception about a few things. So in your next step in your journey, you're going to be sharing your gift even more and more and more. And whatever that happens to be, it could be anything. You all know exactly what's in your heart. But as you do so, you begin to align more and more with God and you go through a purification process that naturally happens. Many of you have mentioned on previous videos and things how you're more led now to eat certain foods or drink more water or whatever it happens to be. So this is a natural unfolding for each person as a return to wholeness, because you see, we are already whole and complete as we are. We've just added a bunch of things onto ourselves and it's time to remove those things. So one of the things that needs to be removed and talked about here is basically a drug, a mind altering drug. Now we can, we can go into very many different kinds of drugs. It really doesn't matter which drug it is. Um, it could be any drug alcohol or many of the list of drugs that are out there, right? But many people um, are more oftentimes connected to alcohol or weed or marijuana, that sort of thing. But it doesn't matter. Whatever it happens to be for you, you'll be discerned in your heart what it's about. But anything that is mind altering, it's really actually saying that you're not wonderfully and fearfully made, that you need something outside of yourself to escape your current reality. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this current reality. This current reality is actually heaven on earth. We're just not perceiving it that way because we have that milkiness in our eye. Because a lot of the times it could have been the substance alone is creating that milkiness in your eye. So let's talk about like drugs like um, weed or um, alcohol. What do they do? They change our perception of reality. They also lessen our defenses. And then we also lose control while we're on these substances. So anybody that's ever had any of these substances will tell you this is exactly what happens. Your inhibitions go down. Um, you begin to say and act and do things that you wouldn't normally do. Okay. And this isn't always in a good way. Most people have, you know, had situations where they've been on these substances and had to uh, later apologize or um, fix different situations that they had messed up while they were on these substances because they didn't ever mean to do that. So alcohol in itself back in the old days was called spirits. Now, why do we think that it was called spirits? Well, it's because we allow for spirits to come in. Now, in this plane on earth, we experience polarity. We experience the positive and the negative, and we can experience things like angels, and we can experience things like demons. We can experience anything here on this earth. And so when we align with those things that are not of God, that are more um, in line with escaping reality, um, saying that something is wrong with this current reality. See, when, when people go drink, it's not because they're happy usually. When people go use drugs, it's not necessarily because they're happy. They're trying to escape a situation. And usually they're trying to either escape a situation or elevate a situation, but they're not currently happy in their current state of reality. If not, they, would, they wouldn't drink at all. They wouldn't use these drugs or whatever it happens to be. So these drugs are truly an entryway, a portal because you're, you're, you're diminishing your life force for something else to come in and play a different game. So do you want to play that game? Do you want to play the game of allowing these sorts of energies into your being? Or would you like to have total clarity? Because one of the things that, whether you believe in, in any of these spirits or anything, one of the things that drugs and alcohol does, it really clouds your, um, your perception. 
you can't drive. And if you do, you're going to get into an accident, possibly kill yourself and others. How in the world could that be something good? So it clouds your reality so much so that you can't even function um, enough to drive a vehicle. So that should be a red flag to you. And the other thing about these drugs and substances is that after people use them, most of the time they regret it. They have a feeling of shame, a feeling of guilt that they carry throughout, not just right after. They just carry this throughout. So this is not a substance that you want to be dealing with any of these substances. You do not need them. You are already whole and complete, just aligning to the source of God. And when you align closer and closer to God, you actually get normal, natural highs just from being close to God, just from being close to his music, to his creations, to all of those things that are good. So you're being called today to examine yourself, examine your life and see if there are anything in your life that is creating a cloudiness in your life, creating a slowness. Another thing that weed and alcohol and these sorts of things do is they create lethargy. They create low energy. They create a distraction from life. People that have been on these substances for years um, report not being able to be very productive. Um, they literally spend most of the day not doing anything. And so this, this kind of drug, these kind of things, they keep you from your purpose. They keep you from your gift. They keep you from joy. So it's time to leave any of these substances that are in your life behind. You have a greater purpose and a greater mission here. And a lot of people don't re realize that these are even in their life. Like I say, this message really is for those that are already living a very pure life. It may think that a glass of wine here or a glass of wine there, or, you know, a lot of times now, a lot of the marijuana products like CBD and all of these different things, they're marketed for people that have pain, for people that have anxiety. And so many people have pain and anxiety, but it's something that we have to feel into. It's not something that we need to cover up with substances that lead an open doorway into a whole nother realm. And these other realms really, you don't even realize how much they take over, but they do. Like I mentioned, just in the simple fact of the things that people know that these drugs do, like make you um, not very productive, you know, make you um, uh, impaired. The word intoxication itself means deception, intox. The beginning of that word, if we look it up in a Black Law Dictionary, if we look up these words, they literally tell us what these words are about. And it's basically a distraction. It's, um, it's almost like a spell that you're under, okay, when you're on these drugs and things. So you're being called today to really examine yourself and see if there's anything in your life that you can let go of and that you can align closer to God with. And so you don't need any of these things. The only thing that you need is aligning with God and walking your path. And through that, you will experience endless amounts of energy, endless amounts of joy. You'll be able to express and share your gift with ease. It won't be um, hard to do, as with these other substances, it's very hard to do. And also these substances wind people up in trouble. How many times have we seen celebrities and people in the public eye who have suddenly um, gotten a DWI or the, this um, substance has caused them to do something like cheat on their partner? And later they're seeing an on interview saying it was because of this substance or because of this thing, or why did you throw this chair? Why did you do this? You know, why did y'all do this? And you get to know that after we read that story, it was because there was alcohol involved. It was because there was a drug involved and they claim they didn't feel like they were the ones doing it. It's really because you're allowing something else to come in. Um, again, most people that use these substances will tell you that they do not feel in total control. Why would you want to be out of control? The whole part of this reality is to have control of your situation, to have and, and maintain personal responsibility for yourself at all times, to have a sound mind, to share the things of God with clarity. Because if we try to share the things of God and we're using these substances, they're going to come out tainted. They're going to come out distorted. So we have to clean the vessel, make sure that the vessel is clean of all of these things, specifically anything that is mind altering, because as soon as you alter your mind, you go into a whole nother reality. And the only reality that is true and everything is right here and now. You don't have to escape it. You don't have to fear it. You don't have to distract yourself from this reality. You just have to feel it and you will experience more of it. You'll experience more love. You'll experience more passion. You'll understand this reality, but so long as you keep distracting yourself from it, you will experience cloudiness. 
lethargy, confusion, memory loss, um, you know, dissatisfaction, depression, even. This is coming from all of these substances. And people want to act like these substances make people very happy. Oh, let's have a drink. Oh, let's go, you know, to this dispensary. I mean, I live in Texas. It's not legal here, but I'm sure in many places it is. I, I traveled around. So this is very common now. It's not something that um, many people shame as much as it used to. As a matter of fact, things like weed are even um, told of or spoken of in a healthy way. Like this is a, a healthier way than going to the doctor or taking this medication. Like it's always now seen as this healthier, better way. But what came through to me earlier today was basically the devil's lettuce. That's just what I kept hearing. The devil's lettuce, the devil's lettuce. And some, the other thing that came around that was, why is it called the devil's lettuce? That was the question that kept coming in my mind. And it really is because this is, this is a substance. This is a way for another energy to come in. And it's, it's a part of you. It's a polarity of yourself. It's a shadow that you haven't integrated and you haven't dealt with. So it comes up in this way. So it's time to deal with it. It's time to feel those emotions. If you are anxious, don't go seeking these things. S deal with the anxiety. Feel it. Pray. Go in within yourself. If you don't connect with praying, just feel, meditate. Go in with yourself and feel it. You don't need to go out and get some substance to erase it, to distract it, because it never gets erased. What I'm see seeing is like a, a beach ball. So like we're playing, we're a child, we're playing with this beach ball, trying to hold it down. So every time these emotions come out, like we're anxious about something or, you know, there's a topic come up or maybe we have to see an ex-spouse or whatever. All of these scenarios that cause people to use these substances or maybe they're um, going to go do some big event, you know, and they needed like something to just take the edge off. Or I hear a lot of people the day of their wedding that they drink or do these things to take the edge off. Hey, you're taking yourself out of this reality, but what's really happening is like this. It's like the anxiety comes up and we push it down, like the beach ball. We push it down. We push it down. Keep trying to push it down like a child, but it keeps coming up. You feel it, right? It keeps coming up. It's saying, let me out. Let me out. But we go and use these substances. We go and do these things. And it could be, I'm even hearing um, caffeine also as well, caffeine. So we're pushing it down, pushing it down, but eventually it's going to pop up and it's going to hit us in the face. And we're going to have to deal with this. So why not allow the ball to float, to see it for what it is? Okay, it's a beach ball. It's there. But we can play with it other ways. And we can learn and understand it for what it is. We don't have to be fearful of this beach ball and keep hiding it and pushing it down. Because every time we do that, we're creating more and more force, momentum. So when it does come out and hit us, it's going to hit us pretty hard. So we have to keep clarity at all times. Keep our mind sound. Um, our eyes, our ears, everything ready to hear the truth of God at all moments. And when we're faced with these things, like something like this message, it's time to really discern, to go within and see, does this message resonate for me? And it may not resonate for you. It may not resonate for, you know, very many people. It may only resonate with a few, but this message is for someone, for someone to really look inside, to really see, is there something that I can give up now? Maybe you've even been considering it. Maybe it has been, you felt like this substance or whatever has been useful for some time, but now you're starting to realize you're starting to have more clarity as how it's holding you back. And so actually you've already been thinking about giving the substance up. So now it's time to go do it. This is your next step. This is your permission slip. This is the sign you've been waiting for if you want to see it that way. But regardless of what your situation is, these things are truly distractions in our life. And they don't come in forms of just drugs, but that is what this message is really about. But they also come in forms of distracting yourself on Netflix, just watching things endlessly, um, video games, watching things endlessly or playing video games endlessly. Um, you know, all of these things are really distractions that really um, take you away from life and distract you in a way that actually creates a lot of shame within the being. So we are truly meant to be active, to be out there, to be doing the things that we should be doing in our heart. And when we deny that about ourselves, it can be very painful. So it's time to really align with the heart, align with God, and really trust that. Trust that guiding system over the guiding systems of the world. The world tells us that these things will be helpful for us, that they'll make life so fun, that you know things will become so vibrant and all this. Yeah, it's all fun and games for a little bit, but what you don't realize, it's an open air, uh, open doorway 
to release a lot of your life force. See, you contain all of your life force and you can call it back at any time. You can call it back right now. You can call it back by releasing those substances. You can call it back by aligning with God and the truth. And you won't ever have to feel that again, that something is leaving you, that shame, that guilt, all those feelings that are associated with using those substances. So this message today is really to bring clarity as to what's going on, especially in a world where everything's becoming legal, everything's becoming very common. And what used to be kind of, you know, looked at as the devil's lettuce is now looked at as health, is now looked at as wellness. But it's to bring this back and really show you that these substances from the very get-go, you could even consume one and experience this. They are suppressing your life force energy. They are draining it. And if you don't feel that, if you don't agree with me on this, comment down below how that's so. Because that is exactly what all of these substances are doing. And you're meant for more. You're a greater being here on this earth. You're already sharing your gift. You're aligned with God. And that is all that you need to do here. You already have everything so why do you need anything else right we are already wonderfully and fearfully made what outside of us can do anything nothing so i hope that this message found you well i hope that it resonated with you if it did give me a thumbs up a heart comment down below how it resonated with you or if it didn't thank you so much for watching and i will catch you on our next message